I'm Peter Block with the Cardiosaurus Heart Minute, and today I'm with Dr. Christopher Cannon from the Brigham and Women's. We're talking over some of the new trials and new reports that are coming out in the literature. Chris, uh, statins, wonderful drug, and all we hear about statins is my muscle aches, or I'm getting diabetes, and uh, there's a lot of fluff around the statins, and yet we know the statins are such great drugs. So now in Lancet, there is a report on the risk of diabetes from statins compared to the benefit that the statins actually produce. And the bottom line is that the benefits outweigh the risk. So give me your take on what you think all of this means. Well, it's a, it's a terrific report. This is from the Jupiter trial that Paul Ridker analyzed carefully, found that people without risk factors for diabetes, they had no increased risk of diabetes with statins. So there is a big chunk of people who are in the clear without a risk. Then patients with risk factors, they're obese and have you know, a history of diabetes and, and whatnot uh, in the family. You know, those patients do have a higher risk, but the benefit far outweighs uh, the risk. And that's been a message, but I think an important one, balanced against the noise that we see in newspapers. I think one of the interesting bits of information that came out of that, as you point out, is that if you don't have diabetic risk, you don't get diabetes from statins. And even if you do have diabetic risk, the only thing that happens is that you shorten the time to diagnosis, which I thought was an interesting fact that came out of this study. So it doesn't really keep you or make you get the diabetes. It just gets it there a little bit earlier. You know, and people point out this is the biochemical diagnosis. So the hemoglobin Correct. A1C crossed a threshold. What that exactly means is not clear. So there was a report earlier in the year from All Hat where uh, chlorthalidone, the, the diuretic thiazide, known to increase the risk of diabetes, those patients actually had lower mortality developing diabetes Correct. than those who, who didn't. And so uh, what the real disease that's being seen is not clear. Is it the same diabetes that is developing with different medication classes? Beta blockers are like this as well. And so that remains an open question of is this biochemical definition really bad or is it simply something we see in the blood work? So I think for me the bottom line here is that Statins, which I think are a great drug, continue to be a great drug. The diabetic risk is not all that much to worry about, and the benefit clearly exceeds the risk. Thanks, Chris.